smoly. Look how calm it is out here. I'm going to run up on some glass. Look how calm it is. Ripley, Ripley, Ripley. Time to go ice skating. Whee! Look how calm it is. Man. Unfortunately, it's high tide or somewhat high tide, so not really able to see fish tailing or anything, but golly, look at that. Man, it's, it's like three feet deep and I could see everything down to the grains of sand. Man, I haven't seen it like this in a long time. Maybe I will be able to sight fish even in deep water. Hey everybody, how we doing today? Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous day here in the Florida Keys. Beautiful. But look at this water, ugh. But this is actually one of my priorities today is looking for this stuff. I was out here probably what, about two or three weeks ago and uh, I started seeing the mullet mud popping up on the flats. And that's a big thing. And then if you watch my last video, we were talking about the fall transition. And part of that is basically our mullet run where the mullet start flocking in here. And uh, you'll start seeing, well, right there, you'll start seeing this action here, these big old mud slicks and all these little pockets here. And uh, that's the massive mullet schools moving in. And that transition definitely brings kudas which is another priority for me today is start taking a look for uh, kudas on the flats start bringing out the kuda tube the kuda tube.com uh, shirt there um and uh seeing if those are around because those will generally be following around as well as the sharks and then because those guys are sloppy eaters that attracts the redfish the snook etc so that's a big change and i'll start going to the good old mullet chunks and looking for those so today we're going to see what kind of uh, capacity of mullet are around and then uh, maybe take a look at some kudas and then uh, maybe throw out a few uh, bonefish if I see them. I'm going to hit a couple of spots. It's a high tide right now and I'm going to miss any low tide. So, But the uh, visibility is so good because it's so calm, I still might be able to see them. So we're basically looking for anything, but that's the plan. See that swirling water right there? It's all awfully ripply. Bam's be mullets. See them flashing? I'm gonna run right into them. That's why this water is so dirty. They skedaddled. They're here. Just can't see them. There's more of it up there. See them popping along there. You could tell there's a lot of mullet in here because it's cotton balled mud. So they're digging all over this area. You can see the rings. That's them over there. This is all fresh stuff here. Seeing a lot of sharks. Bigger lemons. A lot of rays. Ray, 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 ray. That's another sign of the uh, winter season. Sharks and rays. Lots of rays. Lots and lots of rays. Hot Cuda. That's what we're looking for. Oh, right there. Cudas. That's a nice one. Yeah, buddy. All right, we're out here on one of the outer islands on the Gulf side back country. Uh, now we're going to switch from, we saw our mullet. I'm actually going to look for mullet out here as well, but we're going to look at our next target species, and that's the Cudas. The Cudas. The Cuda tube. Uh, today I'm going to be throwing the uh, uh, baby cuda tube in a double weighted J hook. Gets me a little bit more distance. And uh, I'm actually going to work the shoreline. Uh, it's work, it'll work really well because the current you see is going this direction. So I'm going to get casting distance from the shoreline and then just let the current drift me across this and I'm just going to be cast into the shoreline and bringing it back. Because a lot of the kudas are going to be right along those edges there. Some will be out here, of course, but there's a, quite a few that will be right up along the edges waiting to jump out and attack some food that's getting pushed across. So that's the plan. All right, I'm set up a comfortable distance away and then uh, 
the the current is basically just pushing me right along parallel and then i can use my rudder to kind of keep me away and uh this allow me to basically cast into these pocket areas here i've got 30 pound uh, br um, 30 pound leader on here so that's the the least i would go and uh, I'm using the SQ12, which is like a medium weight, because oh, the uh, the light eskies are a little bit too flexible on the hook set, so I tend to get a lot of uh, miss bites. They'll grab it, but then uh, it won't stick. And there's a little dinky one, I think, kind of right over there by that mud. Ray kicked him up. We scored! Not much bigger than the Cuda 2, but... <laughs> Skunk is off! Cuda season has started! Bam! Ah, you got really hooked. You got double hooked. Hey, let go. Let go. Let go. Let go, let go, let go. Alright, the little guys are here. Saw a few bigger guys. Anytime you see those kind of like white patches. Oh God, I stink already. That's what I didn't miss. Cuda stink. A lot of times you'll find a lone Cuda protecting these little uh, cuts. Not finding any bait in here, so maybe not. No mullet mud. See if any kudas will flash on this at least. No, nothing. I'm getting a little bit deeper. Usually these are at least one nice chunker one around. There we go. <clears throat> Set that hook. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Run, Mr. Mc... Cuda, run, Mr. Makuda. Angry dude. Run, Mr. Makuda. No structure out there. Oh, there's structure behind us, though. Pull me out there. Yeah, pull me out where you're at. I can see the finning tail coming out of the water. Oh, let's stay out of that structure. Uh oh, getting close. Ah, nice one. Don't get by the trees. Don't go by the trees. You're going by the trees, aren't you? Don't go by the trees. Oh, got to put the drag. Yep, got to turn you. Stay away from them trees. Taking me right into the trees. I don't know if it's deep enough. Oh, are we stopping? You can come around this side. Oh no. Anchor holding, trees, sharks. Ooh, he ain't held that thing. I'm up close to the the wire. Ooh, he's a nice one. Oh, stay away from the anchor. All right, let's see if I still have my quick hands. 
quick hand. Ooh. All right, buddy. Don't kick in. Don't kick in. I don't even remember how to land it. Oh, no, 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 no. Stay away from that anchor line. Fast hands. Fast hands. Oh, anchor line. Fast hands. Fast hands. Oh, watch the thumbs. Fast hands. Bam! Oh, yeah, baby. Hello. <laughs> it's Cuda time. Cuda ah, tube time. <laughs> Bam. Yeah. It's in mine. I'm not giving it up. Boom. There we go. Starting off the year like that. Bam. <laughs> I stink. <laughs> So what I'm doing is I'm hitting all these points. That's actually where I caught them right out there. Uh, just run up to the point, cast at the point around it, and then move down to the next point and hit it, next point. Uh, I'm not seeing any mold on the insides of these bigger bays, so there's no reason for the kudas to be in there. So that's all I'm doing, just hitting the points now. Buy them. Well, one fault to my plan for the day is I didn't bring any new kuda tubes. Uh, just that one that was on top of the box. So then I found these guys. There's a couple of them that were sitting at the bottom of the box. And it looks like some of the uh, the pl soft plastic shrimps got to them. And they melted them. But we'll give it a shot. Ah, crap. You can see all the rings? It hit it three times and then it just ate the whole thing and cut it off. Look at that. Just chomp. Third time he hit it. That was a big boy too. <laughs> I think I only got two more CUDA tubes. Well, here's the CUDAs. There's my lure. CUDAs. I'm not quite sneaking up on them. Because I'm looking for redfish. And the CUDAs are here. More CUDAs all over this place. I'm gonna throw one right down there because I can see them lined up. Even though it's gonna scare off my it's gonna scare off my redfish if there are any there. Oh I got weeds. No. Oh he's coming. Look at all of them. Look at all of them. And I got weeds. That's a good one there. That's not too bad. <laughs> They're definitely here. This is the spot for them. All these dang weeds though. See, look at all these kudas. They're all stacked up here. There's a couple big sharks around here too. They're all just hanging out in this sand pit here. Da -de -da -de -da. Just waiting, waiting for feeding time. What's up boys? Just passing by. They are very wary. Ray, Ray, Cuda. Uh, there's all that bait there. Ooh, that sketched them out. That's all glass minnows. Lots of rays. Cudas. No redfish here. Oh, there's some two big sharks there, sleeping. Go wake them up. Underwater footage? Why not? I do GoPro. I do videos. Sharks! Sharks! Alright. 
drifting away here. Oops. <laughs> That's a full-size tarpon right there. That is a big boy tarpon. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. No, that's a shark. Where'd that tarpon go? So many weeds. No, I saw that tarpon. Where did he go? That's the second kind of bigger tarpon I... Oh! Oh, that's tailing. A lot of cooters around here, but I can't get to them because of all these weeds. I'm going to try to do is let it sink. Nope, I'm in the weeds already. There's two sharks. Those are all black tips. Ah, kudas, kudas everywhere, and kudas I can't catch because I thought if I can get away from the island, maybe there'd be less weeds, but no go. I think I'm gonna go back to. Uh, mullet hunting definitely kudas and sharks here so that kudas nice one that's definitely and i'm my bait with the weeds on it so definitely here just got to find a, a we, less weedy day here's kind of the end of a little inlet it goes pretty far uh, it's all silty bottom it's pretty popular with the mullet but there's nothing over here just adjacent to on the other side there is the main area I find the mullet all the time off the main channel but this one definitely gets overflow but there's just nothing here no mullet I didn't see any mullet out on the flats either no mullet mud so that is definitely not happening yet I'm really not finding uh, any mullet in other spots except this first area that I uh, came up on them see them right there and over there so oh. Look at all of them in here. See if there's a cuda usually hanging around. Can't even see the lure there. So this kind of patch here is the only uh, mullet, but there's a lot of them. But uh, during the actual run, this whole thing will be just solid packed. Those other areas I've I checked out, the little bays will be full. So here, mullet. Everywhere else, no mullet. So still early pickings on that keep an eye on it fortunately for the fishing there's really nothing i could do um i just i didn't check the tides but the tide i must have been coming on a rising tide when i first came and it was already deep now it's even deeper it's way up and uh i haven't seen a single fish outside in the open here everything's way inside or they can go anywhere so it's a two three foot deep in my shallow spots that i usually look for so I think we're gonna call it an early day here. I might throw the cuda tube around here just for the fun of it. I think I see a permit tailing up there. Uh, got his tail right there. Man, this is like two and a half feet. See him right there? I got a beautiful sunset today. Nice. We're all loaded up, ready to go. All right, we are packed up, we're on our way home. Uh, I think it was a very successful day. Learned everything that I wanted to learn. Uh, primarily the mullet. Uh, there's some there, but definitely not very many. I'd say maybe 25% because really it's just that one stretch that had a bunch of them, but my other spots had none. So there's a lot of room for growth there. Uh, very happy with the kudas. 
I uh, really won't see those fully fill in until uh, end of November, middle of December when we start having more cold fronts stacked up and then uh, those will shift in and really move on to the flats. But what I saw today was really good numbers. Saw a few big ones and then uh, saw quite a few uh, adult teenagers. So that's always good. That means there's always going to be action going forward. So uh, regardless, I'll always be bringing some of the CUDA tubes out. And especially on days like this where it's high tide. So fishing for everything else is not really going to be worthwhile. I can always throw the CUDA tube and be successful. Bend a rod, catch some big fish. So uh, that's good there. I uh, didn't see very much in regards to uh, the tarpon, juvenile tarpon. I saw a couple of big tarpon, uh, but the juvenile tarpon, redfish, snook, didn't see any of them. So we're a few days past that kind of cold front that we had. So I would have figured they would have shuffled back in, but didn't see much. But then again, it was high tide. So you never know. I uh, saw that big school, big school <laughs> uh, permit that just mocked me that whole time, but I got about three to five minutes of video, but I'll do another video on that one just to see how one way they're just like the most sensitive, like anything feels funky, they're out of there. But like today they're just hanging around, they don't care and just nothing. But uh, anyways, I got to take a look at the tide today for tomorrow. I was originally planning on going down to Isla Mirada to check out what the situation is down there. but. If it's going to be high tide, it's really not worth it to go down there. I don't really need to do any more prospecting. So uh, if I can't fish it, I'm not going to make the drive. So I'll have to take a look and see what uh, tomorrow's options are. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you next video. Bye.